High Speed One, formerly the Channel Tunnel Rail Link, is the UK's first high speed railway. The first new railway built in the UK for over 100 years. We opened in 2007, following a construction period which started back in 1998, when the then Deputy Prime Minister, John Prescott, with his silver spade, dug the first sod on the banks of the River Medway. High Speed One is really um, two major engineering projects. Uh, the first, St Pancras Station itself, which this year celebrates its 150th birthday. Designed and built in two years by the engineer, uh, William Henry Barlow. A railway quite small in length, um, 108 kilometers um, from the Channel Tunnel uh, connection at Cherryton um, here to London St Pancras. And it's interesting to note that this station brings the trains in at first floor level and we compare that with our next door neighbour, King's Cross, built just a few years before the opening of St Pancras, where the stain trains come in at uh, train floor level. The reason for that is the Regent's Canal, just to the north of us, where the King's Cross trains come beneath the station, uh, beneath the canal, and uh, here at St Pancras, uh, to outdo our neighbours, uh, William Barlow brought the trains in above the canal and because of our closeness had to bring them in at first floor level. We've adapted the station um, more recently to accommodate changes. So everything you see today is as near as we can make it to the, the original, from the colour of the paint to the masonry work. Um, the, the, the refurbishments um, involved um, bringing new slate for the roof from the quarries of Wales, um, new clay bricks um, from, from the quarries and brickworks in, in the Midlands. We've seen massive change since we took possession back in 1996. At that time, you wouldn't be able to see through the, this glass roof as it was covered in soot and debris from the diesel trains of the Midland Main Line. Today, with self-cleaning glass and on a day like this, you see the sun streaming through, not only to train deck level, but to the undercroft down below. Here today, the station is used generally as a meeting place for business, for friends, for people traveling in the UK, for people traveling internationally to Paris, Brussels, soon to be Amsterdam. And further down in, in Kent, um, in, in Ashford, um, the Ashford International Station, we have seen it's been developed as a real commuter time, town in, 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 into London. The completion of, of the works here in St Pancras and indeed um, High Speed 1, the Channel Tunnel Rail Link, was a real team effort between um, many engineers, civil engineers, mechanical engineers and other professions as we dealt with issues taking the railway through um, the St Pancras graveyard close to us which involved the relocation uh, of graves um, to Highgate Cemetery. Down in, in the countryside of, of Kent, um, the relocation of houses in every conceivable way um, you could think of, um, whether knocking them down brick by brick and rebuilding them um, many miles away to modern standards, or raising the buildings on rollers and moving them from one side of the field to another side of the field. It's a railway, yes, constructed by engineers, but as time has developed, regeneration is really the story of the High Speed One link. The regeneration of the old railway lands here at King's Cross, where we have seen the relocation of the University of the Arts, and we see today the construction of Google's new European headquarters. The redevelopment of the Stratford railway lands, the home of the Olympic Games in, in 2012. And those of us who have been associated with High Speed One and the Channel Tunnel Rail Link, um, throughout its history um, are really proud that we believe we brought the Games to London in 2012. But one of my favourite stories um, about the people involved in, in building the railway was a young civil engineer um, filmed for BBC documentary walking along the Euston Road and pointing up to the station um, and reminiscing that in, in years to come she would take great pride in bringing her children on pointing to the station and saying, I built that.